Hello everybody and welcome to James Hennan Tarot on uh, YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about card number 17 in the Major Arcana and this of course is the star and once again I'm using the Juliet Shaman Tarot pack to help illustrate the symbolism and the general sort of meaning of the card. Now to get into the symbolism straight away, what we can see before us is a, a blonde haired lady that's naked, knelt before a pool, and she's pouring from one jug water into the pool, and in the other jug she's pouring water onto the ground. Above her head, she's got one large star and seven small stars encased around it, and we can see that there's a bird in the tree there and a butterfly. Now, just quickly to go through the symbolism, because there's quite a bit in here. The jug here that's pouring into the pool is pouring water into the unconscious. This is the pool of the unconscious and the unmanifest. This is where our dreams start. Obviously, we think about something, first of all, and it's unconscious. It's not manifest. It's not reality. So by pouring the water into the, into the water there, that's where she's pouring her wishes and dreams to make her wishes and dreams come about. And the other... Um, Jug is pouring the water onto the land, which means taking the ideas that she's thought about and actually going about finding the direction and insight to make it a reality. The star above her head obviously is a guiding star, a guiding light, and it's helping her to establish the direction for her goals and her, her wishes and dreams and the sort of direction that she's hoping to find in her life that's going to be most in tune with her wishes and dreams and her hoped for outcomes. Um, the bird is obviously it symbolizes, I think, I believe her spirit and her spirit to, to, to go in that direction. And the butterfly is obviously a sign of transformation. The fact that she's naked also symbolizes the fact that she's ready to express and expose her dreams and wishes to herself and everybody around her. And she's prepared to put herself in a vulnerable position and to trust that things can come about. And that brings us to the first true meaning of the card, which is about trust. So when this card comes out in the spread, if you're reading it for yourself or a client or a friend or whoever, it's likely to be pointing towards the fact that now's a good time to trust and have faith in the dreams and wishes that you're trying to implement and that you're trying to put into your, bring into your life at this time. There really is a lot more hope and a lot more faith of these things coming into reality than you might think there is. So trust and have faith because the chances are there's a really good chance they're going to come into being for you. Obviously, you're going to have to do your part. You're going to have to play your part within this and really go after what it is you want. But there's likely to be a sense of direction with where you're wanting to go. And it's kind of like an unseen force. Maybe it's like the universe or the spirit world or God, whichever way you want to look at it, is helping to guide you and helping you to push you and nudge you in the direction of what you hope to accomplish. But after the sort of disintegration of the um, tower where things fell down, this is the first fresh hope as you go forward. And especially this card can come out a lot of times when you've been going through a difficult phase and it encourages you not to give up because there is something on the horizon that can be really positive for you there is something that you may not see completely yet but don't give up on what you're thinking of doing and what you're hoping for whether it be a plan a goal or something you have set for yourself or just a hope for outcome or a wish whatever it may be you must follow it through do the best you can do all you can to make to help it come about and know that you're well placed to really go about achieving this it could be a dearly held ambition uh, a career ambition it could be an ambition to to move house or to buy a house to get married to have a baby whatever it is that you're aiming to do there is hope for it to happen uh, but once again you've, you've obviously got to have that faith and belief and you've obviously got to do realistically what you can to help it come about so that's the star it's a card of hope faith trust and finding your direction and making your wishes um, a reality um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, James Hennan, and to 
come and check me out on uh, Facebook under James Hennon Tarot and on Instagram as well, James Hennon Tarot. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye bye.